So thank you very much um, for everyone who's attending this evening, um, especially on a Friday night. Um, that's uh, quite the uh, precious time that we have that we're spending here this evening. But because it's such an important uh, issue, I think that's why we're all making that time uh, today. Um, as mentioned, um, I'm the seniors critic, as well as just recently became the uh, long-term care and home care uh, critic for the NDP. And with that title, I hear, of, I hear from many constituents of all ages, but uh, more of interest, of course, uh, with seniors. And many times, long-term care and health care um, pertain to seniors. Um, of course, there's a variance of uh, people who access health care. But we know that there are very serious problems around health care when it comes to seniors, uh, one of them being the wait times that we're talking about and, and surgery delays. And hip and knee replacements is one of the more common uh, phone calls that we receive in our, in our London office. And people are waiting, you know, <laughs> one to two years, if not longer at times. Um, there are also people who are calling in their mid-50s. Uh, they're experiencing um, hip and knee issues as well. And so what I've heard from people is that they um, are prolonged in getting that surgery and therefore they're having to take medications, um, their quality of life is different, and their mental health is very much affected and their relationships um, as well as their financial um, uh, stability um, because if they can't work and, and things do change in their lives. So it's very important that we address um, the delays and it's very important that we listen to uh, what people are saying and the numbers be the, the people behind the numbers is what's really important. And I know at Queen's Park, myself and, and my colleagues here, we have asked this government about their delays. We've heard from medical professionals that it's not about the funding. Um, they get a funding envelope, and there's so many patients that they run out of the money, and that's why they have to uh, stop their surgeries because they can't uh, continue the service because the funding envelope has run out. Um, so, and I, I know from experience uh, talking to people that different parts of Ontario <laughs> experience different time, wait times. So it's something that we need to really uh, seriously take into consideration and make sure when our seniors are accessing health care, they are getting the equality, the equity piece of health care that they deserve. They shouldn't be waiting longer because of their age. Um, another thing that I hear is ageism when it comes to medical uh, care and accessing care. Many seniors talk about the fact that they're older, that they're not taken uh, seriously, and they're not given the health care that they require. Um, so, and they have to have either advocate for themselves, or they have somebody advocate on their behalf very strongly in order to push for the for the health care that they're asking for. Um, so, I am here today uh, to really listen to what people are saying. Um, pushing the government to make changes uh, with regards to senior health care issues and um, here to support people if they need help as well uh, through the system if we can if we can do that so again I thank everyone um, who's here this evening and especially the um, London District Academy of Medicine uh, for standing up for patients and standing up uh, for the issue uh, with regards to this around the government not paying attention and for Dr. Um, Sharad Ray, Ray here for also um, putting a face in the medical industry or sector to this issue as well. So I, I appreciate being here to tonight and I look forward to hearing uh, your stories. Thank you very much.